I love this camera. Hey guys, what's up? Gabby here from Ray Studios. And on this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Insta360 GO 2. First, let's do a quick unboxing. Right there, as soon as you open the box, in your face, Insta360 GO 2. One of the best unboxing experience I have ever had. Look at that, it's right there being held by a magnet in the other side. So that's where the pendant is. You kind of have to dig a little bit inside the box to get it out, but yeah, that's the pendant that you usually use when you want to have your camera uh, as in your chest, I guess. Um, we have here a couple of quick guides, um, what to do and not to do with the pendant, and how to turn it on and off and start shooting. So it's very helpful. And there is a lot other documentation inside the box that I don't think you're ever gonna read. Maybe you should, I guess. A couple of stickers and a proper instruction manual that, yeah, uh, I haven't read. <laughs> and then there you have it. Uh, this is the case for the Insta360 Go. Um, there is a lot of new stuff compared to the old Insta360 Go. Um, we also have a few accessories. We have this um, sort of like selfie stick. That's why we have a wrist strap, so you can hold it in your hand, but it's also have a sticky base. We also have an updated accessory here. This is the one that usually goes on your cap or headband or backpack, and it's actually pretty helpful. And now you can adjust the angle and the charging cable. I got a few more by the seller. So I got a lens cover, a carrying case, and a couple of tools, and I think it's like a wristwatch, a headband, and an action cam mount. Hey guys, a quick disclaimer here. I used to work for Insta360 from 2020 to 2021. I don't work there anymore. I'm still friends with the people at Insta360, they're amazing, but I did pay in full for this camera, and whatever I say in this video is my own opinion. So, revolutionary got even more revolutionary. So the Insta360 Go was amazing. It was like a, a new invention. Like, I mean, I've been a filmmaker for quite a few years and I've never seen a camera that small. The big problem I had with the original Insta360 Go was that the footage, really not good. I mean, yeah, for keeping up some memories, I guess, but for what I do, it wasn't really that useful. And even for blogging, I was still thinking like, eh, not really that good but with the insta360 go 2 they specifically fixed that apparently now they have the same sensor or a very similar sensor to the gopro hero 9 so that's a proper action camera and when i say proper i mean like bigger and heavier well this is smaller and lighter take a look at that it's very very impressive so the other scene that they updated is the charging case so before the charging case was kind of useless to be honest i mean it was like for charging but also to get the video so you need to physically connect the camera to an ipad or iphone because it only have a lightning connection unless you have a cable with a micro usb port really not cool um you just get the videos in and charge it but now we have bluetooth so it connects wireless to your camera uh, either it's a android phone iphone ipad doesn't matter anymore uh, because it's wireless and you can get live feed as what you're shooting i mean as you're shooting you're getting the live feed that's amazing now because this camera doesn't have a screen it's so small that there's no place to put a screen so the other thing that they did with the case is like they maximize the functionality they have a mini tripod now so you can basically mount it whatever you want and also have a little screen and you can access the settings and operate the camera directly from the case now You've probably seen a lot of reviews by now because uh, I came a little bit late to review this camera. So what I, the, the one thing I want to really do is to show you some really cool uh, footage I shot with this camera and then I'm going to draw some conclusion at the end of this video.
All right, so there is a lot to love about the Insta360 GO 2, starting with the footage. So it's 1080p, and that might seem like it's not enough compared to, I don't know, GoPro, for example, but to be honest, I think it's plenty. Actually, the sensor is a 4K sensor, but because you can lock the horizon and uh, the stabilization is so amazing that basically you end up with only 1080p, but it's good 1080p, so not all 1080p is the same. This one is actually really good. As a matter of fact, in this video, I blow it up into 4K. So when you're watching it 4K, even so the resolution is only 1080p. Now, uh, there is almost perfect in every single way. I really love this camera. It connects pretty fast. The case is amazing. Tai C connection now. We have a quarter 20, a mini tripod, a little screen to control the settings. So there is almost almost nothing bad with this camera. I think the only thing that I could say that is not so good is that the battery drains really fast. So I don't go over like 30 minutes that I end up with no battery and the camera tends to get really hot. Now you can put the camera back into the case and start charging again. So it's not a big deal. So if you are doing action shots, like I've been doing and like most people would probably do with this camera, eventually you're gonna get tired, right? You're gonna have breaks. So in any break, you just put the Insta360 Go to back in the case, and in a few minutes, you will probably um, fully charged and ready to go again. So that's it, guys. If you wanna buy the Insta360 Go 2, please do it from the link in the description down below so I get a little commission. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, considering subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you up on the next video.